Frankie de Tory jumps from Enable after winning the King George VI Queen Elizabeth Stakes run during day two of King George VI weekend at Ascot Racecourse, Berkshire. Photo, Julian Herbert, PA Wire Enable, already a Dual Oaks winner, added her name to the pantheon of great mile-and-a-half fillies yesterday when she turned the 67th King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Stakes into a procession. The 5-4 to four favourite came home through the rain and mud to beat Ulysses by four lengths, it was trainer John Gosdin's third winner in the King George, sponsored by Kupco, after Nathaniel, Enable Sire, won it in 2011 and Taruda, another filly, in 2014. It was also a fifth victory for jockey Frankie de Tori who, on a diet of fish and water, had shed seven pounds in six days to make the weight. De Tori, who missed Royal Ascot with a fractured shoulder and returned before he was 100% ready to ride and able to victory in the Irish Oaks, rode a brilliantly simple race. He got a good start, settled in behind Godolphin's pacemaker and came through with Enable's stable companion, Jack Hobbs, on the turn for home. When de Tory set go, the reaction was instant and she quickened away, showing no signs of having run in the Irish Oaks only a fortnight ago. The engine on Jack Hobbs, who loves mud, cut out quickly, while Ulysses, who was stalking her, with Jim Crowley hoping to deliver him late, suddenly found himself struggling and he was left floundering in her wake. Nevertheless, Michael Stutes Colt still ran a race that looked an improvement on his Eclipse victory at the start of the month and he proved that, contrary to belief beforehand, soft ground is not an issue. The Aidan O'Brien trained brothers, Idaho and Highland Reel, were third and fourth, the ground having already gone against the latter before it started to rain heavily from the first race onwards. All six of Highland Reel's Group 1 wins have been on fast ground. The one disappointment was the first Argentine runner in Britain, 60s Song, who trailed in last, virtually pulled up. He may have won the best turned out award for his stable in the paddock, but he hated the ground and his connections will no doubt rue the bad fortune, having travelled this far with him only to find testing conditions. SHE's the best mile and a half filly I've ever trained, said Gosden, whose roll call of great fillies include Royal Heroine, when he was based at Santa Anita, the Fugue, Daremi and Taruda, it was just the way she did it. She handles all the ground and I think she'd have won that on good ground, too. SHE's a lovely filly, she has a great mind and the jockey is amazing. Not only has he got over a fractured shoulder, HES fought and starved himself, which is testament to his hunger and passion for the sport. De Tory had a heartbreaking Royal Ascot, missing two Group 1 winners and three Group 2s. HE's been magnificent and he adores the filly. He galloped her and a pigeon flew out of the hedge and she dropped him. Luckily, my son was there to put him on again. De Tory, 46, has always been a man for the big occasion but, at his age, winning the marquee races is even more important than it used to be. It is days like this that he gets up for. SHE's a superstar, said the jockey. I haven't had that, sort of.